And these two are Mick Cantwell of London and Mark Epton from Mexborough in Yorkshire. Mick Cantwell is wearing the uh, black and white singlet on the right now. And his opponent, Mark Epton, is only 19 years old. Comes from the Mexborough Athletic Club in uh, Yorkshire, one of the discoveries of this season. And Epton, wearing the white singlet, he's the boy who put the reigning champion, John Lyon, out of these championships in March in Liverpool. Lyon, who'd won this title four times on the trot. And here is young Mark Epton, the man who put him out in the white singlet. Mick Cantwell from the Fisher Club, the famous Fisher Club in London, wearing the black vest. He's 21, London champion. He also is in an ABA final for the first time. A lot of banners around this place, proclaiming Slick Mick from London. But Slick Mick's face is already reddened by the attacks of Epton. The auctionman scoring some of the early points. looking good that was a remarkable win he had over John Lyon the champion Lyon wasn't only four times ABA champion but also Commonwealth Games silver medalist and he's made a good start here Epton the young Yorkshireman in the white single Well, and the London boy really has got to uh, sharpen himself up a bit here if he's going to do any good. Well, not a bad start to these 1985 championships. You could hardly ask for a better opening three minutes to these championships than this. Cantwell occasionally getting his counter punch in. Epton doing five times as much work. Stop. Well, that was total non stop aggression from this 19 year old Yorkshireman. Mark Epton from the Mexborough Athletic Club in Yorkshire. What a first round he's had. Can Cantwell in the dark singlet find something with which to tame this young man's aggression? The blonde-haired Epton, a car body repairer, keen angler, and a former National Association of Boys Clubs champion. Stop. Stop. And this opening contest of the evening has really got the crowd going already here in Wembley. Epton's work getting a little scrambly now. And Cantwell picks up a second caution for leaning on his man and using his head inside. Cantwell now beginning to come back at the youngster. Holding. And he gets a public warning this time. So Cantwell of London from the Fisher Club has now got a mark against his name on the judges' papers. Oh, 
interesting that last year Cantwell, when he was also London champion, came unstuck at the England semi-final stage and in fact was stopped in three rounds by John Lyon, who went on to become the champion for the fourth time and who this season has been stopped by Epton here. Cantwell sticking to it well, keeping his boxing nicely together and this is not over yet. The edge now has just slightly been taken off the attacks of Epton. forcing hard but Cantwell has managed to catch him with some good straight punches as he's come in but remember Cantwell has picked up a public warning and if this is very close at the end that might well count against him strides back to the corner clearly feeling much more pleased with himself than at the end of the first round he's had a good second round there familiar figure in the london championships every year since 1981 mick cantwell from fisher and it looks to me as though the third round is going to be the one that uh, decides this well i'm sure everyone here feels that these last three minutes are going to be quite something between these two young opponents. Mick Cantwell on the left, the London champion, he's 21. And the Yorkshireman, Mark Epton, in the white vest, he's only 19. Both in their first ABA final. Cantwell has been on a, a weight training course to try and improve the power of his punching. last November that uh, Epton was boxing for young England against a young United States team and got knocked out in three rounds well how different it all is now from that rather black night the light flyweights this is the lightest weight of all seven and a half stone this weight was founded in 1971 in the championships and it was a Londoner who won the title in the first uh, three years Nicky Abrams Charlie Magri won it as well still seems to me to be pretty close all the hooks coming from the auctionman and all the straight counter punching from Cantwell take your pick remember there was a public warning against Cantwell and these two are going to box themselves completely out over these three rounds there's not a lot left now the greatest honor that you can win in your own country that's at stake Cantwell again getting slightly the better of it a lot of Epton's punches are missing the target or landing with the inside of the glove. Right. Well, it's been a wonderful contest to get these championships off the ground for 1985. 
foul of Wembley. He's really lapped this one up. Marvellous contest. Pity there has to be a loser, really, between Epton of Yorkshire and Cantwell from London. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner and ABA National Light Flyweight Champion by a unanimous decision, Epton. Epton's done it. All three judges voted.